This is that forward facing little camera. And as you can clearly see, we got water in it. And I pulled it apart and I just split the case. This is the first time I'm I'm taking it off. Alright, so they don't actually have a full gasket. They uh, injected clear silicone in a ring around here and then screwed it together. Obviously got some corrosion. Corrosion on some of those LEDs. These are the uh, infrared. They're pretty cheap though because when it's running you can actually see them. I was trying to work out where the water got in. So this is up. It sat just like that. And I was pretty sure it got in the back there. Oh geez, it's pouring out. Got in the back there and I pulled this little pin loose and oof. Sure. They've got a, like a compression, silicone compression o-ring. Or they just pumped it full of silicone and screwed that thing in. One of the two. But it, it looked it looked pretty tight. And so I thought maybe I'd find a gap or something uh, on this gasket face. And I didn't. What I didn't expect to see when I pulled it apart was that the front gasket or the front glass um, oh, plastic. I didn't expect to see that that was screwed on the edges. So that was the bottom right there, which makes sense, a lot of extra corrosion. I'm beginning to wonder if... Because, I mean, the water got in there once earlier in the spring, and I came up and I, I snugged up I snugged up these four here, and um, I didn't take it apart. I just I just snug these, right? And then I didn't have any problems with it, and then all of a sudden, poop, she's back there, and in huge quantities. I mean, this thing is is half full of water. As a temporary stopgap, I put a piece of uh, packing tape to make a hood over the top of this, because I thought maybe it was running back inside. I don't think so anymore. I think it's that corner right there. That's what I think it's doing. I think that this glass, or plastic, didn't get sealed properly. And as the rain hit it, down on that edge right there, she went inside. I have another one, and I'm, uh, I'm loath to take the other one apart. Right, because it's still all brand new and sealed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry out this one. On my other one, I took and wiped a bead of silicone on the top of this joint, and I re-siliconed the back, back in there, with some good gray RTV. I don't have, I, I just don't have the dexterity to put a nice little tiny bead in and around this lens. I, I, my fingers are big and fat and stupid. And they don't they don't do nice work like that. So I just know I'll get crap all over the lens. So uh, I'm just thinking I'm gonna put it back, the new one back up there. I'll let this dry out, reassemble it, put it in the storage. Um, I imagine it'll work fine once it's been dried out and resealed. And we'll just hope the uh, the the second one from Chingra works all right.